think about that uh, moment of clarity when a person dies after 120 years and he is being brought to heaven's court his soul is setting free from all limitations of physicality and he's being elevated to a place that is beyond this world where he's enjoying eyes of Hashem means the complete ability to see, grasp and comprehend many many details much much more than a person can in perfection in completion at once without the need of any kind of process or time to pass and the person is being exposed in that time to the true history of what that took place since the moment of his creation till now till that moment where he is about to be judged for his actions now that thing is happening to any person after 120 years by the way the reason there is so much noise is because that there is so much rain a source of blessing in the holy land of Israel that is watering the ground that is sweetening the judgments cancelling decrees increasing blessings creating growth and satisfaction to the whole creation this moment of clarity where all the information is being brought to the awareness of the person at once is a moment of redemption is a moment that is freeing us from the challenges of this lifetime moments that are separated in time moments that are separated in place from our history our legacy and from our memory moments that are individual divided and separated in a limited and tiny experience compared to the complete experience of all endless aspects of creation at once the freedom that the soul is experiencing in that moment of clarity is divine and godly and in that the soul is being unified with its root with the sea of all souls with infinity itself and sof baruchu the blessed endless our maker himself now in that time if there were moments that were not clear that were not bright that were not right that were not good they shall be removed and that's the main sorrow and pain that you won't have a pleasure of satisfaction of true redemption for those moments but on all other times that you spend them in a positive way with Hashem being a good person being nice being kind observant keeping Torah keeping mitzvot doing good deeds on those hours you will experience the redemption on all the moments that you ever experienced in a positive way that you were good that you were even just okay that you were not hurting someone that you were not abusing someone on all those moments we shall be rewarded and you will be blessed to enjoy an eternal hour of eternal redemption great satisfaction to all angles and aspects of that moment that you spent in a positive way under the sky of our maker you will experience the redemption of that moment the complete redemption 
is the gathering of all those moments that are worth it for redemption to be experienced at once in the mind and heart of the righteous ones of the pure in their hearts it's ours it's us that is the experience that the person can feel after 120 and as well for the righteous ones it happens in a concept that is called aliyat neshama where their soul is elevating and rising above physicality and they experience that while they are alive their mind is experiencing a great great experience of freedom liberty of experiencing the world without limitations without constrictions and as well it will take place for the whole wide world in the time of redemption when knowledge will cover the world as water covers the sea everyone will know everything I think that it was clear now Baruch Hashem that Hashem helped us to bring down this simple light to explain that in details a great blessing to us all a great great enormous blessing to us all when Moshe wanted to enter to the Holy Land of Israel so Hashem took him for the fact that he refused to let him in because if Moshe would enter the Holy Land of Israel the redemption would already take place back then and because that the Creator saw in his mind that more generations should come and more corrections should take place he could not bring the redemption 3,000 years ago so he had to postpone it and not to allow Moshe to enter the Holy Land so Moshe stayed outside but before he passed away and went up to heaven Hashem took him to Mount Nebo and shown him the whole land all the generations and all the righteous ones that will lead and will be participate in the path of Kedusha in Eretz Israel, and Moshe saw them all so you see that he had that Aliyat Neshama he was raised to a place that is beyond physicality he was also able to help all his followers the people of Israel of that generation to enjoy that light as well while taking all the people of Israel and letting them stand inside the tent in the desert in four meter square in front of the curtain in front of the holiest place in the temple in the tent in those days it was the tent Ohel Moed and over there he brought millions of people to stand in a cube above place and that is how that it will take place in the time to come of redemption that all people of the world billions of people will enter into the house of Hashem that will be called the house of prayer for all nations and we shall stand there together united as one seeing the face of Hashem all the people of the current time of the present time and after the resurrection of the dead means when all souls shall be redeemed all souls will stand together united in the house of Hashem to accept His loving face forever and ever. Amen.